pipeline activities we have over here on board are basically welding, uh, NDT activities, uh, and uh, field joint coating activities. We also have a dive spread, a ROV spread, and a survey spread on board, uh, which help in the pipe layer process. The pipes are aligned and directed to the preparatory workstation for the beveling operation, where the beveling is performed by the pipe facing machines, PFM, on both ends of the pipe joint. The pipe facing machines shave the ends of the pipe to produce the correct bevel on both ends of the pipe joint. At the ready rack, both ends of the pipe joint are preheated using induction coil. The preheat temperature is as per specified welding procedure. A temperature stick is used to verify that the specified temperature for the welding procedure has been achieved. Then starts the most important operation in offshore pipeline installation, welding. The pipes are lined up end to end into perfect alignment by an internal lineup clamp. There are five welding stations equipped with J. Ray McDermott Bug and Band Automatic Welding System, JBBS. Each joint passes through root and hot pass stations before continuing for the filling and capping weld stations. Grinding and cleaning operations are also carried out at every welding station after welding is completed at each station. Once the welding is completed, non-destructive testing, NDT, is performed where each weld is inspected with automatic ultrasonic testing, AUT. Results of the scan are shown immediately and are analyzed to locate any welding flaws. In the case of presence of any weld defects, Repair is carried out and the joint undergoes AUT, manual UT and MPI test to ensure that the repair is successful. Upon NDT testing, the pipe joints undergo surface cleaning to prepare the surface for field joint coating. The pipe joint is heated up and mechanically buffed to clean up any dust or foreign particles. In the process of protecting each weld joint, an extremely important element is added the heat shrink sleeve. The heat shrink sleeve is applied over the uncovered area of the joint. Being heat sensitive, it shrinks over the joint area under the gas flame exposure. Polyurethane foam is then injected into the sleeve, leaving behind a perfect field joint coating. Once all the field joint coating is completed, the barge is moved ahead by one pipe joint length and the completed pipe joints exit via the stern of the barge through a stinger using S-Lay design. During the pipe laying, the stinger and the pipeline touchdown point on the seabed is surveyed periodically with the help of a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, and air divers to ensure pipe lay safety. DB30 successfully completed all pipe lay works for 2017 campaign safely and within schedule on the 31st of May 2017 and subsequently demobilized from Brunei. With the successful installation of these new pipelines in the Amper and Fairley fields, this project will certainly help to ensure the continuity of these mature reserves for Brunei Shell Petroleum.